so good morning everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel um in today's video i'm just gonna do a video about x and if y'all see me looking this way i am driving like if y'all see me looking around like looking at my surroundings i am driving because i am on my way to a meeting for my job but i hope i didn't get fired for this but i'm gonna tell y'all some of the icks of working in a food industry and if y'all notice this jacket you are a real one that means you came back to my channel because i wore this jacket in one of my like previous videos in my like my second video i ever posted like the drive with me video i wore this sweatshirt because i didn't have my hair done and i just threw the hood on like this is what I, this is the jacket i will wear my hair is not done so anyway without all that talking and rambling let's just go ahead and get into my icks okay so i do work in the food industry i work in the back but sometimes i do have to encounter um like like customers like people who i do have to do some tasks i do have to do some tasks um like if a customer needs a straw or if a customer needs some napkins or some ketchup some condiments i like you know i have to do that some people don't always understand that there's back of house and there's front of house i am back of house i don't do anything in the front um like i don't make drinks or anything i, don't, I work in the back i work strictly with the food and all that stuff so here are just some of my eggs my first ick would have to be just when people will come in there um, and they'd be like, and like if we say my pleasure date, oh, somebody asks like, um, do we get in trouble if we don't say my pleasure? Like once they say thank you or my pleasure, or like no, we don't, we don't get in trouble. But I mean, if we're being evaluated, then yes, some points might be taken off, but you don't really necessarily get in trouble for not saying my pleasure. You don't get in trouble like you just don't get in trouble for it okay like it's, it's it's all about the hospitality and making everyone feel welcome and just making them feel like they're a valued customer and that is all about that is what we're all about so no you don't get in trouble no you don't you don't you don't there's no penalty okay there's no penalty and my second ick would have to be like people who like i'm i'm one of i'm a leader or whatever i train people and i'm supposed to teach and guide like while i'm on the shift and pe every time i make a mistake people are like but you're a red shirt you're a leader you're not supposed to do this okay i'm a leader but that's not saying i'm, I'm, I'm not going to make mistakes like please get that out of y'all head that that people who lead and who teach and guide others they don't make mistakes because we're do we do like at the end of the day we're still human we're still going to make mistakes we still might forget to do some things we might end up doing something wrong because we missed a step and that's fine because everyone makes mistakes and another one of my icks would have to be like working with a lazy worker like someone like the counter could be dirty and you would have to tell them hey wipe your counters down hey sweep your floors like i shouldn't have to tell you that that's just just too easy like you cannot just stand still like you cannot just not do something like you have to always be constantly moving you have to be making sure your area is clean making sure your counters wrap down making sure everything's just set and ready to go okay i'm about to order my food right quick um, it's not breakfast anymore Hi, good morning. Um, good morning. can I get a hot and spicy McChicken uh -huh. with um a large fry? So you want a uh, hot and spicy? Uh, you want a hot and spicy meal? Yeah, I'll take the yeah, meal. Well, yeah. You want that large fry? Um, or look, medium. Let's do a medium. I'll do a medium. What's your name? Um, can I get a sweet tea? Uh-huh, yes ma'am. And what else can I fix for you? Um, condiments? No, what else can I fix for you? Oh no, that'll be it. Thank you. Thanks for calling you are looking at five four four I'm sorry, four and four to seven. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Wow. She didn't even say you're welcome and I know she heard me. She knows it's fine. Every day is not everybody's day. So, I still have this sweet tea in my car from like two days ago. I have just so much trash in this seat right now. Like, my passenger seat sees it all, okay? Um, all right, so back to my ex. I've said the lazy workers, the always the my pleasure people, the people that think we can't make mistakes. Um, and I hate lazy managers. You know, some of my managers, they will leave their shift and like go do stuff. Like they will just leave us in there and I say, oh, like they'll be like, oh, I'll be back for my um break. I'm think I'm I, I know it can get overwhelming, and I know that they can take like a 10, 15 minute break, but they will be gone for literally two plus hours. And I kid y'all not. This happened last week. So one of our managers, um, she felt some type of way about something that somebody said. No one was even talking to her, first of all. But you know, she felt some type of way and yeah. Hello. I had the hot and spicy meal with the medium sweet tea. Thank you. Okay, now that the food is secure, let me just check and make sure everything's in there. Okay, yeah, we're good. Hmm. Okay, so another ick would be like I was saying, the lazy managers. Like, why would you leave your shift like that? No, you're gonna take a whole hour. Like, you need to let somebody know that. That's because I'm like, dang, like, where's my manager? And like, I know us leaders have to, um, like, sometimes we just have to step up and watch the shift. But I'm not about to watch your shift because you had a bad attitude or you felt some type of way about something that somebody said. And you're, you're, you're not about to. And then lazy managers and managers that just disappear. And like some managers don't do nothing the whole shift and then they have the nerve to complain oh i'm tired or oh, i'm sleepy or oh my god this shift was so crazy you didn't do anything like how was it crazy how are you tired you stood there on your phone posting on instagram posting on tiktok just just doing stuff like how was that tiring like you're getting paid to make tiktoks like that no this is not tiktok baby this is the food industry you need to get it together and There was a police officer behind me, thank God he turned off. I'm not doing any legal, it's just, uh-uh. I wasn't trying to, you know. Oh, um, I don't like how everybody is just so, like, nasty in the food industry. Like, they're just, like, why are you kissing on somebody and then you're going to kiss on their cousin? Nick? Like, it's just so nasty. Like, everybody's messing with everybody. Not me, though. Not me and my man, but no we don't we don't do that and yes i trained him and i met him through work but we don't we are only with each other we don't have several partners I, I don't play that okay that is just so nasty that's like the number one way to spread diseases and infections is just having multiple partners and not being safe and i'm not sexually active but if i was i would most definitely be safe because i don't i don't want my body to be affected in any type of way i don't want my future kids to be affected in any type of way because like why would I do that? Why why would I set myself up and my kids up for something like that? So I would I definitely don't like how um everybody messing with everybody and they thinking it's cool and they're all kind of still young. I'm still young too, but I'm a little bit older than them. And they think, oh, he don't talk to such and such anymore. Let me go mess with her, or she don't mess with him anymore, let me go mess with him. And it's just so it's just so much drama, you know and i stay out of it for the most part like when people come to me with drama i just be like oh wow really oh my gosh like i stay out of it i don't care i'm out of my business that's just not something i want to associate myself with and y'all let me know like where y'all work is that drama and i'm pretty sure in every workplace in every field of work there is drama but in the food industry it's just so ghetto and nasty like you would think working at one of the 
best fast food places in the whole wide world the the um like the rates will be down or whatever but y'all it's you know it's still the same like them kids be doing all this type of stuff on the y'all cannot wait to eat my food i'm just hungry okay oh oh that's another thing the guy who's do do our scheduling like when he first came he asked us you know what days would be better like what was your good off days and my off days are usually thursdays and fridays i'm good with that I'm, well, i only have off one day a week but the previous week my off day was a friday which i found like who doesn't want a friday night off so um who doesn't want a whole friday off you know so i had my i picked thursdays but if you give me a friday off like i'm perfectly fine but my thing is somebody else that i scheduling like why would you give me a monday off and then i'm working for the rest of the week why would you give me a monday off like please explain that to me a monday like y'all let's be real like a, a monday why would you give me a monday off like i'm so used to being off on a thursday or off on a friday that i train myself to just push through the whole week until my off day and i can just get recharged and then finish my last two days of work before the weekend and i'm just like why would you give me a monday off like that just don't make no sense to me because i don't even be tired i don't be worn out at the beginning of the week you know when i train myself and i set myself up to think oh i'm gonna be off on a thursday and friday and then you messed it up like so my ick for that is if you're gonna do the scheduling make sure you talk to people before you just give them whatever day you want off or give them whatever day you want them to work like you don't even know nothing like i understand people make mistakes at first and people just have to learn everybody's scheduling or whatever because some people might have kids some people are in school some people are in college like y'all need to be mindful of what days y'all giving off or how many hours y'all are giving i like the amount of hours but i want my thursday or my friday off like you gave me a whole monday i've never been off on a monday like it's just crazy to me and sometimes they will change your schedules like after you after they have been sent out without like you don't have any on my mind right now but <clears throat> i'll ask them later on if i come up with any um snitches snitches and just being messy okay that i kind of already talked about that but just like why why are you being messy why are you spreading somebody else's business that you overheard and then you don't even know what you're talking about 100 percent. like that's just what i don't like you know and that's why I don't talk to a whole lot of people. I don't have a whole lot of friends, y'all. And I was watching this TikTok um, the other night, well, last night, and it was just saying how um, this girl, she was just saying how she don't mind having no friends. She don't mind being boring and staying inside. And I feel like um, people who party a lot, they think staying inside is just boring when it's really not because that's that's my type of fun staying inside i'm not saying i don't go nowhere but I, I will like the movies going out bowling i will do those type of things going out to brunch with my friends and i don't drink or nothing but like you know just going out to brunch and going eat with some friends or my boyfriend or something that's cool that's my type of outings but like the clubs and the, the crazy wild parties that's just not my thing the drinking and the smoking i don't do none of that and um I would I like luxurious parties okay I like fun family friendly type of parties I like those type of parties like I've never been on a yacht before but <laughs> I do want to one day in my life party on a yacht you know have a nice party everybody got their wine I'm not gonna say wine because I don't even drink myself but you know everybody has their um everybody just looking good and everybody is just you know wealthy and we can afford this yacht we can afford the food um for the yacht we can afford the maintenance of the yacht i like those type of parties i don't like those crazy drunk house parties where everybody getting shot up that's just not me and like if i was to be dating you and you would bring me to a party where you know it could possibly get shot up like just leave me right now okay like girl leave me right now because for one that is just so down bad and ghetto like why would you do that to me though like why would you 
why would you set me up for something like that? Like, I just do not understand it. Oh. That you don't care about me. And I'm not saying um, even nice parties can't get, like, you know, bad things happen to them. But, like, a trap house party, don't bring me to no trap house party. Um, no, thank you. Okay, I will stick to my luxurious boring parties okay if it if it keeps me safe okay i will i will do that you know like i'm not mm -mm. like you do not have to worry about me oh my god what time is it okay guys i'm gonna end this video another time so i'm about to eat my food um i still have um how much time do I have left? It's 11, 11. I've got like 19 minutes or so. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my food. Cause I'm not trying to be hungry. Yeah. Hold on. I didn't even sanitize my hands. I love these spray hand sanitizers by Bath and Body Works. I love the, I think it's orange pineapple or orange mango. It's, it's an orange one, okay? And it smells so good. It smells so tropical and fruity. But this one is just the eucalyptus mint one. I love this one too, but I like the other one better. Yeah, I gotta go in this meeting. And I really, honestly, kind of don't want to. But you're like, it has to be done. You know, I have to do it. So, it's whatever. <clears throat> I have to go into this meeting. Do what I got to do. Hopefully, nobody can't see me because I'm talking and turning this food up. Guess turn some up, man. A McDonald's muck, man. It's like like that thumbnail thingy. How I do it? Shit. Whatever. <clears throat> I love McDonald's fries. Especially when they're hot off the grease. And they have salt on them. Top tier. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn my car out because I'm sitting here not going nowhere wasting gas. I don't even have no, no heat on, so. The meeting starts for 11.30, but, and, and it ends at, um, at 1.30, supposedly, so. And I have to go to work for three. I'll make it on time, though. I gotta change my uniform, but I'll be okay. Got me a sweet tea. So I 
Okay guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you click that post notification button so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. As always, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.